Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're gonna be dyeing my hair with markers. I am so excited about this video. I've been wanting to do this for months and months and months. I'm definitely not the first person to do this. There are so many other videos on YouTube. However, I do think I'm the first to do rainbow hair using markers. So this is gonna be a new series. I'm really, really excited about it and I hope you guys are too. I have a box behind me full of so many different items that we're gonna try dyeing my hair with. And what makes my videos a little bit different is that I'm gonna be using six colors instead of just using one or two. I'm gonna be using six different colors to dye my hair rainbow with all of these random and weird items. I have never dyed my actual hair with markers before. When I was in middle school and high school, I used to draw on my hair with Sharpies, but I never actually dyed my hair with markers. Back in 2016, I think, I was Harley Quinn for Halloween and I had these extensions and I needed the ends to be blue and pink and I did not have any dye. So I remember doing this to my extensions back in the day and it worked. So let's hope it works on my hair today because I'm kind of getting bored of the blonde and I'm ready for some fun colors. Here are the markers we're gonna be using. I got two packs because I didn't really know how much I was gonna need. I'm gonna change into my hair dyeing shirt real quick just in case I get markers everywhere. So on top of using markers to dye my hair today, I'm also gonna be doing a new rainbow pattern on my head. I was thinking I can't really do any of the other patterns I've done with markers because I feel like they're gonna bleed a lot easier Easier. I'm not really sure what the pigment's gonna be like. I'm sure a lot of it's gonna wash out and I don't wanna spend hours and hours and hours working really hard to do beautiful rainbow hair when I'm just using markers and it's probably gonna wash out relatively quickly. So I decided to just split my head into six distinct sections today. So I'm just gonna do three sections on this side, three sections on this side. That way we can see if the color really held in those three sections and we'll be able to see what's going on a little bit better and it'll be quick and easy and the sections will stay separated. Here's our markers. Here's the little thing that's inside the marker. I'm just gonna set it in the bowl for now. So I figured out how to get them off relatively easy. I just bite like right here and it pops off. I do not recommend using your teeth to do this. I actually don't recommend doing this at all, but you know, it's fun. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the little cartridges out of here and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have all of them taken out. I have this glass of warm water and I remember soaking one end in the water and then flipping it around and then blowing on the tube and getting the ink out and putting it into the bowls. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's start with blue. So basically you just soak the end in this water and it pushes all of the ink up towards the top so that way you're able to blow on it and you're not gonna get like marker all over your lips. Although these markers are non-toxic so if I did swallow a little bit it wouldn't be that big of a deal. This is gonna take forever. All right, let's go to purple. Maybe I can do them two at a time. Hmm, let's try. Now we're talking. I'm gonna blow all the color out of these and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the colors in here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of ASMR. Nice foam. So now I'm just going to add some conditioner into the pigments. I got this big jug from Sally Beauty. It's just a big gallon of conditioner because I'm gonna be doing this a lot with a lot of different items. So I went ahead and just got this big thing. So I'm gonna start off with doing just a little bit of conditioner. I don't wanna overpower the dyes and make them too pastel. So I'm just gonna add a little bit in there at a time. The conditioner is in there. Let's mix this together and see what we get. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more conditioner because this is still really, really dark and really, really watery. So I'm gonna have to add a lot more conditioner in there. Here's what it looks like. It's really, really dark. I feel like this is gonna work really well. Like I just have this feeling that this is going to dye my hair. Okay, the orange is turning kind of weird and chunky. You guys, oh my God, look at this orange. <gasps> So something very odd has happened. Three of the colors have mixed up beautifully to a nice consistency, and the other three are chunky galore. Like, I don't know what is going on, but look at this. 
is very chunky but then we have like the purple and the blue and the pink and these three are beautiful consistency super nice and smooth and then the other three shades are really watery and gunky and i don't know what their issue is adding a little bit more conditioner into the mixture seems to help those chunkier colors get a little bit more smooth okay i have all the shades mixed up and ready to go <laughs> I'm really excited. Holy crap. This is so much fun. Here are the colors all mixed. They look really, really good. And all the chunky ones are now nice and smooth and they're not really clumpy anymore. All right, let's section off my hair. I really hope this works. This is gonna be so cool if it works. Okay, I'm gonna do pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Oh, I just dripped a huge drop on my arm. <gasps> Okay, so I accidentally just dripped a whole bunch on my arm and it stained my arm pink. So I have full faith that this is gonna work. Oh my gosh. I'm not really sure how long I should leave it in for. I didn't watch anybody else's video, so I'm not really sure how long. I think I'm probably just gonna leave it in like the same amount of time I would leave regular dye in for, like 30 minutes to an hour. These videos are gonna be so fun because it's just, you know, carefree, like, it's not too serious, we're just having a good time. I think that they'll probably wash out relatively quickly, which is also a good thing, so that way I can try all of the other things I have to dye my hair with. And also, this isn't gonna be damaging to my hair. The only thing that's bad in here is like the alcohol from the markers, but I have conditioner in here, so it's kind of like I'm doing a deep conditioning treatment to my hair a whole bunch. This literally looks like real hair dye. This pink is beautiful too. No effort and I get this beautiful pink shade. Come through markers. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be low-key disappointed. Imagine I go to shower and like all of it just comes out. Ooh, what if like a lot of it rinses out and then I'm left with like a pastel rainbow? That would be pretty. I wouldn't be too mad about that. See this front part right here is gonna have a little bit of purple in it because the pink's gonna go on top of that blue. I have tried so many things to get this leftover blue and pink out of my hair and it will not come out. So I've just kind of accepted it. I don't want to damage my hair trying to remove it, you know? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <gasps> this looks so freaking cool. I think the darker colors might work. I'm not too sure if all of the lighter colors are gonna work. All right, I had to turn my ring light off so I can see what I'm doing back here. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I would tell you all of the different things I'm gonna be dyeing my hair with, but I don't wanna spoil it. If you have any recommendations of things you wanna see me try and dye my hair with, leave it down in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of the things that you guys will suggest I have already purchased and I'm already gonna do, but if there is something I see that I haven't thought of yet, I will definitely try it for you guys. This stuff is very messy and is getting everywhere. Ah, I hope this works so bad. It's gonna be kind of funny if some of the colors stick and other ones completely rinse out, then I'm gonna have like a very blotchy mess. For some reason, I don't think this orange is gonna stick. Let's do this last section back here with the yellow. I don't think the yellow is going to work at all. Like I have no faith in the yellow. Maybe this yellow will stick. It really looks like it's actually dyeing my hair. Because these colors are so runny, it does make it a lot easier to dye your hair. And it smells good because it's basically just conditioner. See, some of these pieces back here are turning green. Some of them are turning orange from my leftover pink and blue in here. Here's the three colors so far. They look very promising. These colors are getting more and more watery the longer we wait. So we gotta hurry this up. Okay, green is now completed. Moving on to the two darkest shades. We have purple and blue. This blue is the nicest consistency that we've tried yet. Blue's normally such a pain to get out of the hair. So high hopes for this blue color that it's gonna stay on here, it's gonna last. I feel like some of these shades are gonna show up and some of them aren't. And the ones that do show up aren't going to be super dark and pigmented like they look right now. I feel like they're probably going to be a lighter pastel version maybe. Maybe I should have watched <laughs> some videos before I did this so I kind of knew what to expect. This blue color is so beautiful. Last color purple. Ooh, I got this blue all over my arms and it's staining every single little spot that it's hitting. 
You see all this water that's running down on my face? It's like the marker is separating. Is literally, look at this, it's dripping. I think there's a chemical reaction going on. Something's happening. And the color is literally running everywhere. It's like water. Look at my neck! <gasps> what am I supposed to do about that? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. There's legit little beads of water running down my face. What is happening? <laughs> see, this is fun, isn't it? Okay, we have all six colors applied. All right, I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna rinse it in the shower using cold water. I'm not gonna wash it or anything because I want this to last as much as possible. I feel like if I wash it at all, the colors are just gonna disappear. So I'm just gonna rinse it using cold water and I'll see you guys in 30 minutes to an hour to show you guys what the results are. Type in the comments down below what you think is gonna happen. I think it's gonna be a patchy mess. Some colors are gonna stick, other colors are not. Let me spin you around and give you 360. I'll see you guys once I get this rinsed out. All right, are you guys ready to see how my hair turned out? Three, two, one. Are you as disappointed as I am? Cause I was really looking forward to having some rainbow hair. So let me tell you about the experience of rinsing this out. For some reason, these three colors on this side of my head were running everywhere. These three colors on this side of my head did not run at all and they actually dried out throughout the process like a normal color would. Probably because it's marker and you're not supposed to dye your hair with it, but it was like running all over the place. As soon as I rinsed out the color, it bled everywhere. Obviously it's marker, it's not hair dye. It came out so fast, like literally as soon as I hit it with water, it was like back to blonde and I was really disappointed. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't shampoo my hair or anything. I literally just rinsed it with water. Now over here, it did dye this section a little bit blue. I did have a blue streak on both of these sides, but this you can tell it's like overall in this section it has a little bit of a blue tone to it. This section right here also has a little bit of a pink tone to it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but this area right here has a tiny bit of a pink hue and this section right here has a blue hue to it. I cannot believe that this didn't work. I'm now going to go watch other videos on YouTube and see if it worked for them. My hair does feel really good though because I had all that conditioner on my hair for a long time. Even though it didn't work, I had fun with you guys and I really enjoyed doing this video and it's fun to experiment and see what happens. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't disappointing for you guys. Overall, I had a good time and I enjoyed doing this and I cannot wait to try things in the future because I know some of the items I have will definitely work on my hair. Like there's no way it can't work. So I can't wait to try all the other items I have. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys, stay weird.